गुड इवनिंग कैन यू हियर मी गुड इवनिंग टीचर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग आई कैन हियर यू वेरी गुड हाउ वाज योर डे A little tired. Little tired. Are you teaching online, Eduardo? Uh, yes, but uh, I am uh, making some uh, homework in my school because we are. Um, uh, how do you say? We are um, preparing some food for some students okay all right okay so today is june the 10th 2020 uh i there how was your day it was excellent thank you hi hi teacher hello Okay. It's an excellent day. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Okay, so let's start by talking about the different things we covered yesterday. Uh, do you remember what we did? Which topics did we talk about yesterday? Do you remember? Uh, word neutral, positive, yeah. and negative. Yes. Word. Yes, we were classifying vocabulary uh, according if the word was positive, negative, or neutral. Yes, they are called adverbs. Some were positive, some were negative, and some were neutral. Very good. Uh, what else did we do? What were the other activities? Uh -huh. Who remembers? We had to change sentences to negative. Uh-huh, exactly. You have to change negatives to the um, sentences to the negative form. That is correct. Which tense, Kim? Simple past. Yes, it was simple past. It was simple past. Um, when you say something in a negative form, you need to use auxiliary didn't. I didn't eat, I didn't tell you, I didn't see you, because it's negative. Yes, if you're talking about conditions, you will say wasn't or weren't. So I wasn't there, I wasn't sick, I wasn't ready, so you're talking about conditions. Good. Anything else about yesterday? Do you remember the last conversation that we read? Yes. Do you remember the topic? Yes, was present perfect continuous? Exactly. It was present perfect continuous. So, so far, you know, we finish our second week tomorrow and we have spoken about this simple past, past continuous. Yesterday, we began talking about the present perfect continuous. Uh, what is the function of the simple past? One more time. What is the function? Activities that happen in the past. Okay, activities that happen in the past and they finish in the past. What about the past continuous? Jose, Jose, Eduardo, Aide. What's the function of the past continuous? Uh 
Huh? Do you remember where you were living 10 years ago? Were you in the same house? No. I wasn't. I was in the same neighborhood, but in a different, in a different house. Okay. And I think the, that um, past okay. six months, um, well, Eduardo continues. <laughs> okay. And the past continues, uh, I think that this is used to describe action that began in the past and often continue for a short period of time. I okay. think that uh, that is the function. Yes. Um, yes, your definition is good. Um, but not only for a short period of time, but it can also be for, for a, a couple of years, you know. So you can say that, uh, uh, what was the name of the ex-president from South Africa? Oh, Mandela. Mandela, you say Mandela was living in prison for 26 years, 27. How many years was he uh, locked up? How many years was he in the penitentiary? Do you remember? Well, okay, anyways. So yeah, your definition is good, except that you said a, a, an action in progress in a particular time in the past, sometimes for a short period of time or sometimes for long periods. Yes. Because you can, in, uh -huh. in some case, it, it, it describes uh, uh, an event that happened in a specific uh, time in the past. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. That is correct or not? Yeah, no, that is correct. So you can say, who was governing uh, El Salvador in the year 2005? Oh, in the year 2005, this political party was running the country. So yeah, it's uh, a specific time in the, in the past. Yep. Okay. Now, what is the function of the present perfect continuous according to what we spoke yesterday? Anybody. When you can speak about, well, when you want to speak about experience. Okay. And when this experience happened, Kimberly? In the present. Okay. So when did I they start? I think that it started in the past and continue in the right. present. Right. Exactly. That is the exact definition for the present perfect continuous something that starts in the past and is still in progress when you are talking. I have been living in Lourdes for the past 10 years. 10 years, we go back to uh, 2010 and I'm still here and I still live in Lourdes. So uh, it starts in the past and it's in progress still. Anything else about yesterday? No. Okay, so let me share this um, with you. Okay, so this is the conversation we began reading yesterday. Do you remember the information in it? Yes. Where, where, where did this conversation take place? Where did the conversation take place? In a park, in a stadium? Where? In the house. Yeah, in the house. And what was the event? Like a party. Yeah, like a party, maybe a reunion. Okay, so can you tell me where is the first sentence with the present perfect continuous in the conversation? 
I haven't seen, maybe. Okay, I haven't seen you in ages, that is present perfect. Okay. Uh, and what is uh, the first one with the present perfect continuous? Okay, so let, let me show you something else. Okay. okay. Um, when you are using the, the present perfect continuous, you always use uh, this structure here. Can you see it? No. Yes. 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 It's called structure of present perfect continuous? Yes. Okay, so look here. You have the subject, you use auxiliary have, you use been, and the form of the verb is the ing form. The example says, we have been working together since last year. Now, if this is the personal pronoun, you need to say have. If the personal pronoun is the third person singular, then you need to use has. But the structure is exactly the same. Now, what if the information were uh, negative? How will you change that to negative? We have been working well, together not. since last year. What would be the negative sentence? We haven't. We haven't, exactly. We haven't been working together since last year. Now, the second example uh, involves the third person singular. So he has been painting his house for two hours. What would be the negative version? He has not been. He what? He has not, or he hasn't been. Yeah. He has not been painting. He has not been, or he hasn't been. Now remember, native speakers, they usually use contractions when they speak. So my recommendation is, even if the book, like this image here, presents you the structure word by word, real life is, you should be using contractions so you sound more natural. Now, how do I make this into a question? What do I need to do? Auxiliary have a yeah. subject. Okay, so where where is the auxiliary have or has? If you're making a question at the beginning. So how would, okay, so how will you make this one into a question? We have been working together since last year. How will you transfer that into a question? Can you hear? Has he been, how we been working together been working since together. last year? Uh huh. Have how we been, been working together, together since last year? Uh huh. How will you transfer the second sentence into negative into a question form? Has he been painting his house for two hours? Good. Hours. Has he been painting his house for two hours? Now remember, um, the same way you make negative questions in Spanish, you can perfectly make negative questions in English. So um, how will you make the first example into a negative sentence? We haven't been working together since last year. Okay, that would be negative. If, what if I want to make a negative question? How will you make that sentence into negative? In a negative haven't question. We, haven't we been working together since last year? Exactly. And what about the second one? He's been painting his house for two hours. How would you make that into a negative question? 
Hasn't he been painting his house for two hours? Exactly. All right, good. So how do you ask a person, que no has estado ahorrando dinero? How will you make that question in, in English? Have you been saving money? Haven't you been saving money? I haven't. Yeah. Haven't you been saving money? How do you say, y ella que no ha estado leyendo el periódico? Hasn't she? She is reading the newspaper. Okay, hasn't she been reading the newspaper? Yes. Okay, any questions about the structure? No, teacher. No. All right, so let's, let's return to the, to the image that I was showing. Now, where is the present perfect continuous here, the first time? I, I haven't work. seen you. Okay, if you say, remember that the form of the verb, when you use present perfect continuous, when you hear the word continuous, that means that the verb needs to have the ing form. What so, have you been doing? Exactly. What have you I, been doing lately? Good. What is the next one? Oh, I've, been I've, I've been working. I've been working. I've been working to jobs. Working. Uh huh. What would be the next one? I've only been spending money. Good. I've only been spending money. Yes. Uh, what's the other one? It's a question. Long How long have, have, you, been have you been modeling? How long have you been modeling? Yes. Modeling. And the last one? I haven't been haven't getting, been getting any, work. any work. Any work? Good. Very good. All right. Uh, any questions about the present perfect continuous? Uh, when, when someone has a goal of being fluent and being uh, and sounding natural when using English, it is recommended that this person manages the 12 tenses in a very good way. So um, it, it's, it's, it's very good, especially if you have the time now, that you read, there are thousands and thousands of sites that you can visit to check about the, the 12 tenses. If you manage the 12 tenses, your fluency is going to be much better. Okay, uh, any questions about this tense? No. No? No. All right. So um, we go with the first exercise. Let me... You can take a, a screenshot if you want to, but I will send you an image to the WhatsApp chat right now. Because I want you to work in, in pairs. So we got this here. And here we go. Okay, did you receive the image? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. so I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Remember, when you finish doing this exercise, it's always good that you guys keep talking about anything, but in English. Okay, so break our room. Here we go.
Himmler. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Which number are you doing? Number two. Okay. All right. Good. And it's at rest. Yes, the, the question has Jim been doing exercise? And well, where have, have you been spending your number summer? Where? Okay, that's good. Who? Okay. Who has? Who has been eating my cookies? Great. Okay, that's good. Have you been waiting a long time? Yeah. And uh, the second part, B? No, I haven't been waiting for a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And number eight. Where?
Hi, it's just me. Tennis for an we, hour. And number six. We have been drive. Driving. 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 Yes. For Being driving. 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 driving for our two hours. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the number six is Tracy and Tom. I consider that is a, I consider that is, is a, in, is an excellent idea because sometimes we don't have someone to practice and, yes. uh -huh, and it will be good to, um, to us. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> we're finished. Okay. Yeah, I think. All right, so let's go back. Okay. Okay. All right, I need a volunteer to do number two. So we're on the same page. Volunteer, volunteer. Walter, can you hear me? Has Jim, okay. Has Jim, has Jim been doing yes. exercise? Uh huh. Yes, yes. he has. has. He needs a rest. He has. Yes, he has. Yes. Remember, when someone asks you a question with the present perfect continuous, they ask you, have you been doing exercise? And yes, you say, yes, I have. Has your sister been doing exercise? <clears throat> yes, she has. And that is a short form. Yes, I have. Yes, he has. Yes, we have. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. No, you have. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, volunteer for number three. Me, number three. Uh -huh. It has been raining for several days. Good, very good. Number four, someone else. I failed the test because I have not been studying hard. Very good, number five. Well done. Number five. Me, we okay. have been driving for two hours. Good. Number six. Tracy and Tom. Tracy and Tracy Tom and have been playing tennis for an hour. Good. Number seven. I'm sorry, I'm late. I was late too. Uh -huh. Have you been waiting a long time? Uh -huh. And what's the answer, Inger? No. I have not. Good. Very good. Number eight. Me. Where okay. have you been spending your summer holidays? Good. Where have you been spending your summer holidays? Very good. Number nine. Anybody? Who has been eating my, my cookies? Aha, uh -huh. who has been eating my cookies? Good, number 10. You look tired. You look tired. You look tired. You look have tired. you been working? Uh -huh. have, been have you been working, working hard? Hard. What's the answer? Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have. Very good. Have. 11, what's number 11? I have, I been, have been thinking about, thinking about <laughs> making uh -huh. my job. Good. And the last one, number 12. Why, Why have, you, had you been Why getting, getting up, up so, so early, early resting? Getting up. Good. Why have you been getting up so early recently? recently. Good, very good. Nice. We're doing okay. Now, can you give me one example of something you have been doing in 2020? Mm. 
Okay. We have been staying in home. <laughs> okay, I have been staying at home. Good. Someone else. I have been learning English. Good. I have been learning <clears throat> English. Who else? Good. I have been doing exercise. I have been doing exercise. Nice. What else? I have been training my puppy. Okay. Good. Get down on my coach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Someone else. Yeah. I've been, I, I have been working out. I've been working out. Good. Another example. I have been working in my house. Good. I've been working in my house. Someone else? I have been learning digital marketing. Okay. I have been learning digital marketing. Yes. Someone else? More examples? I More have really. been cleaning my house. I have been cleaning my house. Uh huh. My sister I has have been, been cooking every day. Okay, one more time, Iris. <laughs> Sorry, I have been cooking every day. Okay, I have been cooking every day. Josué Membreño, what was your sentence? Yeah, my sister has been playing the guitar. Okay, good. Walter, do you have one? I have been play, playing big video games. Okay, I have been playing video games. Anybody else wants to give uh, more examples? I have been eating junk food. I have been eating junk food. Junk food is so delicious. It's so yeah, bad yeah. for your health. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite junk food? Pizza. Pizza. I love pizza too. Oh my god. <laughs> but but the flour okay. is, is, is I bad. I have been cooking yeah. pizza in my house. Really? Yes, I tried it. Okay. What <laughs> and ingredients? It was, it was delicious. Good. And what ingredients do you use? Which toppings do you put on top? Um, Mousse, uh, jam, jam. Uh, screens, and all of. How do you say tocino? I forgot. Bacon. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. Meat lovers. Yes, meat lovers. <laughs> okay. Good. Cheese, cheese lovers. Cheese, oh my goodness, cheese is so good too. You know, when, when, when I was younger, you know, I used to tell you know, people, look, what is it? You know, you know, uh, we, we have been working hard to improve our English because we need a second language to get a better job than the one we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. I mean, like, you know, we do things for a reason. And the reason why we're having classes from 9 to 10 p.m. is like Himmler says, you know, I want to improve, I want to have a better English so I can get a job that will provide me more income. So that is, that's good. Yeah. Anybody else has another example? No? Okay, so we go, uh, we're doing fine with the present perfect continuous. Uh, we have 12 tenses. Some tenses have more demand than others. Some tenses have, uh, they are more difficult than others. Present perfect continuous, it's easy to understand and the concept is, is, is friendly to use. Now we have other tenses where the structure is a little bit more difficult, we can say, uh, and they don't have much use as present perfect continuous. So very good. You guys are doing a, a very good job. Okay, um, any questions before we change topic? Um, yes, Manuel? Yeah, um, about the night, uh, the night, mm. night exercise. Yes. The right answer is who has been? Yeah, who has been? Okay. Yes, who has been? And that's a, that's a very good question because sometimes people generalize 
and they they use have for all personal pronouns. Now people would understand like who have been eating my cookies. People would understand, but the right uh, form should be who has been eating my cookies. So you sound more natural, and uh, and people understand you better. Teacher, yes, I have a question. Yes, ask me, Kim. Number eleven. What is yes? What is the mean of quitting? Quitting my job. Quitting. Quit. Okay, what is a synonym of quit? Left. Uh, left. Yes, leave or stop. Uh, leave. Good stop. relation. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's if say so. If you I, have another job, it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if you have another offer already and you sign already, it's good to look for something better. And that's what life is all about, you know, like getting getting something better. Yes. yes. But right. if you is you fire, it's it's, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bad. Quit. Yeah. But if you quit, you have it's your own decision. Right. And sometimes you quit because uh, maybe the conditions are not good. Maybe the scenario is not that good. It's not that you don't like the job, but maybe you don't like what you're seeing in the office or. Or feels a lot of stress. Right, or, or if you feel yes. a lot of stress. Or say, the environment. The environment, exactly. You don't have a good relationship with your coworkers. Right, right. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, when you go to a, when you, when you have a job, you know, everybody wants to feel well. You know, you must like your coworkers. Your coworkers must like you. So there has to be a friendly environment. You know? So, uh, yeah. So And the relationship with your boss is important. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> if you have someone bossy, like, oh, do this, do that, or they explode when they're in a, in a, in a bad mood, that's not good. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, and sometimes people quit jobs for a better place, money-wise, but at the end they say, look, I was doing better in my previous one. And, uh, but it happens. Yeah. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about the present perfect continuous? No? Okay, so our last topic is related with technology. I will show you a set of questions where you guys are gonna be working in pairs um, and you guys are gonna be asking questions and your friend is going to be answering. So uh, what comes to your mind when you hear the word technology? <laughs> What's technology for you? Is it good, is it bad, is it convenient? It's convenient and very important for me. Okay. I can't imagine my life without technology. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but imagine how El Salvador was, let's say, 20 years ago. Let's not go too far. You know, 20 years ago, many of the things we have now did not exist. So... <laughs> You know, people adapt. Okay, another opinion on how your life would be without technology? 20 years, 20 years ago, we wanted to make phone calls still. Right, phone calls was, was the only option that people had. Yeah. What about the others? What is your opinion when you hear the word technology? I think in my case, the technology I define as uh, the tools that make our lives more easier. Right, right. And, and that's the idea of when people invent new things in technology to make your life easier. Yeah? Another, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a great tool because it makes easier our life. Right. But uh, sometimes it depends on 
from the use that you do with technology. Right. Because, for example, the, in the social media, there are people like, um, for example, looking for, for kids or children and they try to do bad things. Right, right, yeah. Technology, you know, is, is great, is good, but you also have to be a little bit careful before it ends up in the wrong hands. Yeah. Yes, it says sometimes it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, especially for little kids. Yeah. I right. am fashion at old school, and uh, I may mention I, I don't. It's kind of a little hard to me technology, okay. but I think that we need it because it makes it makes easier our life comfortable. And we can earn money with this. Right. You have to know about it. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm going to be um, 49 years old this year. And when I was in high school, we didn't have any computer classes. You know, I'm talking like 35 years ago. Computers did not exist in a classroom. So uh, computers, they were imposed. Like, Francisco, you need to learn this. Now, if you compare with the new generations, they grew up with it, you know, children, they play with cell phones and it's something so natural for them. Yes, yes now we have very I opportunities think. to learn and also to work that in the past. Right. Now imagine this emergency, like I said, 20 years ago, this uh, video session would have been impossible. Yeah. It, it would have been like, what do we do now? Well, just cancel and maybe, uh, I don't know what, what is the, the answer would have been. Yeah. Other opinions about technology? And helps to do the activities more easier. Sure. Yeah, it facilitates everything. I don't know how to everything. say correctly. More easier is correct to say? Easier. 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 Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it makes everything easier. Yes. Yeah. We okay. don't need to send letters now. Right. We can just send in a message and it, it gets it's really uh, now it's maybe. easier to second keep in touch with your relative or and your friends. Right. Yeah, it and it's your, faster. Yeah. So many because of the uh huh. Because in in in, in past you have to um, write a letter to communicate with your friends and family. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I remember when I was a teenager, I used to exchange letters with, with, with other people. I was in the States and I had friends in El Salvador, we exchanged letters. For holidays, it was like a, a very common to send um, Letters and cards, exactly. And relatives and and friends, exactly. You know, it, it was very, very common. To now, it, your Christmas tree, right? You you de you decorated <laughs> your Christmas tree with with Christmas cards. It doesn't happen that much anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Someone else has uh, opinions about uh, uh, technology. <laughs> In my case, because my work is depend on uh, technology. Because Thanks. if if I don't have technology, I don't I can work. Exactly, exactly. So Walter, he works in a call center. You know, in call centers, you're speaking with people in other countries, and you need, you must have technology for communication. Yes. Yes. Correct. All right. Anybody else wants to say something? I think that technology is very important right now because I can study and work um, communication with my families. Exactly, exactly. And all you need is internet. Then all the other applications, they, they just, you just put it in your cell phone or in your computer and you're good to go. 
or WhatsApp? Yeah, WhatsApp. I love WhatsApp. WhatsApp is Teacher, really convenient. But on the other hand, and it's less expensive. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Iris. But in another hand, I think the technology uh, will be made a person lazy or something like that yeah. because the people uh, find easier all the homeworks or something exactly that that they need to know. Yeah. Uh, read no more <laughs> yeah. other things that is very important. Yeah, yeah, you know, when I, we were, when, uh -huh. when, Go ahead. when we when we were kids, when we were kids in school, we used to use uh, a lot of funny tools like Habakus. Mm -hmm. Is that funny sounds? Yeah, cool? yeah, and because. Um, without technology or smartphones, with a um, uh, huge number of applications, it, we was limited. But right now, you only you, your work, our work right now is to find that limit. Right, right. I I I remember that when I was twelve years old. I have to go to the library to search a topic of a homework. It, right. it was not to come on the internet. Exactly. Yeah, I, I totally agree uh, when, when people say, look, in the past, people went to libraries uh, to read, to study, and people read more. You know, now it's just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. So he has pros and cons. Yeah. All right. Anybody else wants to say something about technology? Teacher. Yeah, me. Teacher. Okay. It's it better too for the extraction for my children. Exactly. Exactly. You know, children, university, in support, everybody's taking advantage of, 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 of technology. True. Yes. Yeah, in fact, uh, I think that the uh, reason that technology is good is that it saves lives, lives by improving medicine and keep us connected to each other and provide education and entertainment, I think. Right, right. Yeah, true. I mean, education, medicine, communication. The different aspects do get benefited from, from technology. Yeah. Good, very good. Anybody else wants to say something? Now there are a lot of different ways to work in with technology. Right. We can, we exactly. can do different things with this. Exactly. Yeah, you can do almost everything with technology you know uh, and, but you like someone said before you have to make sure you're doing the right thing and don't misuse technology okay. and after the quarantine always will be different because the company try to save money for example it's not traveling for meeting right because uh, with a platform like Zooms or another application, mm -hmm. you have to to do the, the meetings. Right, right, true. Yeah, after the quarantine, you know, life is going to be so different worldwide in all the planet. Everything will be different and it's different now. Now imagine the weeks or months that we still need to wait to get back to the normal uh, yeah. way of life exactly. yes. <laughs> for to cook you food in YouTube <laughs> uh huh yeah you too you too right anything else 
Anybody a else? Yes. A question. Himmler. For you. <laughs> For you all. Somebody, some people, or some people say that technology has increasing since that known accident in Arizona with Rosewood. Oh, okay. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Yeah, and what you're writing in the chat is true. You know, it's useful. We use this lesson because of technology. Now, if we had had this emergency 20 years ago, you know, this class would have been impossible. Simple. No. This, pande um, this pandemic will change the way that companies or factory do business because the, I read a news that in United States there was very common that uh, the business travels, but uh, because of the COVID nineteen, the uh, flight flight. Um, how do you say disminuyo? Uh, decrease. Decrease, decrease. Uh, more than uh, 50%. Sure. So uh, the companies uh, started to do the uh, conferences online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I was telling you guys, you know, now, we see life in a, in, a, in a different form. Now imagine the weeks or months that we still have to go. So things will be different for sure. That's for sure. Yes. All right. So let me show you the questionnaire that, uh, that I want you to discuss. We still have a few more minutes. And I know we're not going to have time to uh, finish all the questions, but here we are. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. we have this here. See this? I think I gave it too much zoom. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you will have time to discuss maybe questions one and two only. So I will assign you to work in pairs. So here we go. Let me see this. Here. For the for the activities are faster now, and you do more things at the same time. For example, it is. Please, uh, let's first of all number one. The number me? one. The number uh, question number one. Ah no, the number. I I think the number two. Okay, the number so, one. Yes, give your opinion. <laughs> I don't know see video and waste the time in another thing, I think. Yes, I think the same because sometimes it's, it's a good tool to 
do different things, but with the with the teenagers is difficult. The technology that do that. And Walter? Mm, what about you, Manuel? What do you think about it? Manuel, are you there? Manuel Chavez, I have him in another room. Oh. Let me see if I can send him Walter there. Is, Walter. Yes. Okay, what do you think about technology? It is bad or it is good? Mm, maybe if you want to use too bad or good, because if you want to use that technology. Oh. All right. Um, like I said before, uh, we wouldn't have much time to finish the 10 questions. So um, I don't know if you have any questions before we finish today's session. No. All right, so once again, thanks for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow at 9 p.m. to finalize our week. You guys have a good night. Okay, bye. See you later. Good night. Bye. All right. Have a good Have a good night too. Hi. Hello. Hello. All right, you guys have a good night. <laughs> okay.